your girl Bree and I'm back again. Hey y'all, how are y'all doing? So I am doing a day in the life vlog. I'm gonna get these nails done. They look real nasty, real crazy. So I'm right now I'm at the laundromat and my clothes are in the washing machine and I'm waiting till they get out of the washing machine to put them in a the dryer, of course, duh. But, um, yeah, so I'm coming at y'all with a day in the life vlog, day in the life vlog. So, like I said, I'm getting my nails done at two. No, no, no. I'm getting my nails done at three. So, after I get my nails done, I'm going to try to get some grocery shopping done. But, I don't know. We just gotta see because, honey, I'm so out of shape. Taking these clothes to the washing machine really had my back on one million. Like somebody was standing on my back. But anyways, I hope they're not watching me <laughs> doing this vlog because there's like people standing right in front of me. But it is what it is. I'm gonna have to do it. I gotta get this video out of the way. So yeah that's what that's what's on the agenda for today yeah like i can't wait till y'all see my nails it's gonna be some fall nails it's gonna be really pretty really pretty and i cannot wait to get my nails done i haven't had my nails done y'all since my birthday that's the last time i got my nails officially done i have been wearing press-ons because i had some good glue when I get home, I'm going to show y'all the glue that I use for my press-ons because it's amazing. It lasted for about almost two weeks. So, yeah. Whatever glue I was using, I'm going to show y'all so y'all can use that glue for y'all press-ons. Yeah, so I just wanted to go ahead and introduce the vlog. Um, I'm waiting on my clothes to finish washing. So, I will hit y'all back when I leave here. And y'all, I almost forgot shout out to my cousin and her clothing line this says whatever with some emojis um i gotta i forgot the name of her business ain't that bad i don't even know like my cousin's business name i think it's utopian souls it's gonna be down below in the description box the link to her clothing store and i'm have it on here too so y'all can shop with her this is an oversized hoodie it says whatever with the emojis i love it i got it oversized because i kind of wanted an oversized hoodie but yeah support a black business <laughs> so yeah get your hoodies y'all shirts she also sells sunglasses um mugs uh, for you to have your coffee and your little hot tea and your little hot cocoa she got a lot of stuff going on so i'm gonna make sure i put the link in the description box of my my cousin's clothing store so um y'all can go shop with her y'all let me tell y'all what just happened i am so mad i am so mad okay so i had washed my clothes right and i was going to take them out of the washing machine to put them in the dryer girl and i need to say it stop saying girl because i know dudes watch my videos too y'all the wash machine did not spin my clothes good it didn't spin my clothes good so now my clothes are soaking wet my appointment is at three it is 2 15 right now and i put my clothes on 40 minutes in the dryer so i can make sure they dry like, y'all, I do not want to miss my appointment. I don't want to miss my, oh, there he go. Okay, so we're going to cut this short because he right dumb. So he's going to give me a reimbursement. Hey, yeah, I had called you. I called you. Hold on, y'all. It was the five dollar wash machine. Yeah, let me show you. I'll be back, y'all. Hold on. I'll be back. I 
Okay, y'all. So, <laughs> I got to cut this short. Okay. I'm going to tell y'all what happened. So, the man that works at this laundromat, he has his number on a board in there just in case any emergencies happen, right? So... I called him and I was just like, hey, you know, your washing machine did not spin and my clothes are soaking wet, so I have to wash them again. And he's like, oh, okay, okay. Um, well, yeah, you could just wash them again in another washing machine and I'll just come back and reimburse you. So that was him. He gave me my money back. It was like a $5 washing machine. He gave my money back, which I'm thankful for. And I'm about to go dry my clothes. I'm so glad I was able to call him to get my money back because I only got just enough money out of the ATM for me to do this But I'm gonna hit y'all back when I get finished drying clothes because like I said, I got my appointment at 3. It's already 2 15 So I don't want to be late Okay, uh, so if y'all hear a little bit of wind um, My AC is on because it's a little I've been moving around a lot <laughs> It ain't hot out here, but I've been moving around a lot so big girl is hot <laughs> big girl is hot but um y'all i'm not gonna make my nail appointment by three so i went ahead and called my um nail place i'll go to and see if she could push me to 3 30 because i know i can do 3 30 3 30 i'm gonna turn this off 3 30 will work out perfect so I'm a I'm gonna just go at 3:30 because I again two I don't want all them clothes in my car while I'm getting my nails done I really don't <laughs> so I'm gonna see after my clothes finish drying I'm gonna go ahead and run home real quick drop my clothes off and then head to my nail appointment since she's pushing me back to 3:30. Y'all, I'm so happy she pushed me back to 3:30 because I really want to get my nails done. So, so yeah, I'm gonna hit y'all back up after my clothes get finished drying. everybody we are 
cooking the macaroni. We're a little late, but it's all good. This is what the macaroni is looking like so far. That's what it's looking like. And we got the cornbread in the oven is still finishing. Hope y'all can see that. But yeah, we just finishing up the macaroni. We do our Thanksgiving is a little late, a little, you know, running on CP time. And if you know, you know. So we're getting done. I'm just stirring around the macaroni. We're gonna add some more cheese, seasoning, eggs, all that good stuff. So I will hit y'all back, show y'all the finished product. And here's my nails. I told y'all I was getting my nails done in the other vlog or in the other clip. And this is the finished product. I love them. I'm gonna show y'all the other hand. She did an amazing job. Check out LS Nails. If you're in Spartanburg for any reason, check them out. They do a good job. I went to Angie. I always go to Angie because she's a good nail tech. And right now, my mama is teaching me how to do macaroni. This is what it's looking like so far. We got the eggs in it cheese the noodles and we about to just add seasoning and all that good stuff and here's my mom Hi. i know i've never introduced y'all but yes that's my mother her beautiful self and i'm gonna show y'all my brother too he was in there just a second ago jaylon where you at? There's Jalen. That's my brother. My other brother. I don't know where he at. But, yeah. I'm going to hit y'all back up when we got the finished product. Because we're making cornbread and macaroni. So, keep watching. So, here's the cornbread, the finished product. My mama's cornbread, this is the one she made. Hers rose a little bit higher. I think because she used the extra egg. And I only used one egg, so mine didn't rise as high as hers. But I think, I think it don't even really matter. I think it'll still be okay. I was just talking to my mom and I was like, we got most of the stuff for the Thanksgiving. We got Brussels sprouts, we got macaroni, we got um we got sweet potato souffle and i was like sure we could just eat here <laughs> but i'ma uh, hit y'all back when we leave and um yeah because i'm i'm ready to eat but i'll hit y'all back oh my god hey y'all it is like a week later and I am doing a mini mukbang. I'm just trying to close out the vlog. I got a lot to tell y'all. So, first of all, ignore what's showing in that mirror. Because it's a mess in here. And I got to clean up. But I just wanted to pop in and close the vlog. And I'll tell y'all what's been going on. So, first of all, last weekend, which was Thanksgiving weekend, I was supposed to post my other video, my blog that I started, which is gonna be added a few clips before this particular portion of the video. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna tell y'all a mini story time of how my boyfriend tried to kill me. <laughs> so first of all, I got sick really bad. Like I had like a really bad cold Thanksgiving weekend. Thank God it wasn't bad Thanksgiving. Because I was still able to go see my family and eat with them and stuff. And right now, I am eating Zaxby's. I got the fried mushrooms with the ranch sauce. I'm going to be eating that. I'm going to do a mini mukbang. Mini mukbang. Um, but yeah, 
my boyfriend, he gave me a code. So I was sick as a dog Thanksgiving weekend, thanks to him. And I got y'all positioned this way because he's eating beside me. And of course, he doesn't want to be on camera just because, you know, he's in the bed, he's eating. We both in the bed eating. But anyway. Mm. Oh, let me give y'all an update about my neighbors. I haven't talked much about them because they haven't did that <clears throat> because they haven't did nothing to me lately, me and my boyfriend, so we just mind our business. Although I mind my business, I still pay attention. And what I mean by that is the other Thanksgiving weekend. Matter of fact, it was a little bit before Thanksgiving weekend. It was like during the week of Thanksgiving week. Honey. Bubba's girlfriend. And I called him Bubba in the, in the last video story time about my trifling neighbors. So we're going to continue to call him Bubba because he is a sloppy individual, okay? Yeah. Not, not talking about, you know, his weight. Don't get too deep into that. He started with me first, so I'm going to call him whatever I feel like calling him. But anyway. Um... So, Bubba's wife, we're going to call her his wife, called the police on him the other day. Police out there. He throwing her stuff outside. She done left with the kids. And what makes it so crazy is that I bet you that police officer saw that case that was opened up on them. And now it's a record that they're troublemakers because they have continuously, we have called the police on them and they've been calling, they called the police, the wife called the police on Bubba. So I'm glad she called the police so <clears throat> they can have record that they just troublemakers. And what makes it so sad Is they too old to be acting like that? When you when you're in your forties and fifties, it seemed like you would be a little bit more mature. You know what I'm saying? But with all that being said, I knew I wasn't tripping about what he did because if Bubba's wife is calling the police on him then it's definitely Bubba who's causing all these problems but she came back like a stupid idiot but that's her problem I was just giving y'all a little update about what's going on look what happens when you mess with people See? See how the roles reverse? Now you got the police at your house. Look, yeah, I bet them neighbors won't mess with us no more. I bet you that. See? Look, ooh, she get his stuff. And if this vlog is kind of all over the place, I apologize. I was sick and I still want to get some footage out. I got more story times coming at y'all, more vlogs, all that.
All right, well, y'all, thank you so much for watching this all over the place vlog. I do appreciate y'all, all my subscribers. Y'all have been rocking with me this long, and I do appreciate it. And please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We on the way to 100 subscribers. So please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And thank you so much again for watching. Y'all have a great day. Bye.